Welcome back foodies, Leo here, full-time foodie. Let's put in overtime this week. In this video, we're about to try Pollo Campero. It is a Latin fried chicken fast food spot, originally from Guatemala, but it spread pretty quickly throughout all of Central America. And I'm sure they're now in, uh, well now they're definitely in North America and probably in South America too. I'm not sure about that. Last time I had it was in Miami. It was actually pretty good. I tried it out in New York and it's ass. I think they're using those New York City pigeons because the chicken, the little meat sizes they give you, they're so small. It's crazy, it's unbelievable. I don't know what animal they're using up in New York, what bird it is, but it's not chicken. <laughs> Anyway, didn't like it up in New York. I've had it in El Salvador, so I know it's amazing. Half Salvadorian. We're about to try it here in Orlando. I'm wondering how good it is compared to definitely what I had in El Salvador, what I had in Miami and New York. I'm hoping they're normal sized chicken pieces here. So my daughter's asking me if I could translate Pollo Campero to English. Back in New York, I used to kind of make fun of it. I used to say it was campus chicken. <laughs> but it's not campus chicken. It means kind of like, uh, Campero is kind of like out in the like ranchy areas. I don't know, chicken from a ranch kind of, I guess. All right, let's head in here. It's looking kind of packed, so let's get in line as soon as we can. I wanted to mention one thing. Jolly Bees opened up a few months ago out here, and the line over here definitely doesn't look as packed as uh, Jolly Bees, so that's kind of concerning. There is a big Latin community here in uh, Orlando too, so if you haven't tried this Latin American, Latin American. Latin fried chicken, what are you waiting for? Let's head inside, let's see, let's see how it looks in here. It's not too packed in here. It is pretty packed though. Not really, there's still some open table. Remember when we went to Jollibee's? Jollibee's was really cool. Packed out for us. And uh, how long did we wait for the food out there? You mean like I waited? Hour. I waited for like 30 minutes. All right, let's see, what are we getting? The 20 piece chicken? Mm -hmm. I don't like the sides here. Mm. I never like the sides. The rice and the beans, I don't like them. Maybe I'll stop by Popeyes and get rice and beans there. Mm. I do like the fried yuca. Fried yuca. Oh, it started in Guatemala? What's that? It started in Guatemala. Yeah, I know that. Last 20 pieza? 20 pieza? Para llevar. Sí. Eh, Leo? Leo? Sí. Y me da una... So the total was 43 and change. I'm hoping it's worth it. Look at this, some people getting... They're already having a party here with the platter. Let's go. Massive bag. Let's head out. All right, we got our order. I don't like the rice and beans from here. I've had it before. I don't like their coleslaw either. It tastes, uh, I don't know. I don't really like it. It's got green peppers in it. Uh, I'll show some footage because I have some from the Miami food vlog. We're going to head over to Popeye's. Let's get rice and beans from there. And let me get a coleslaw from KFC. Let's go. All right, we made it to the best corner in Orlando. There's literally a Popeye's right across the street from a KFC. So I'm going to get all my sides here. I love the rice and beans from Popeye's. So we're gonna get that there. And I like the fries too. The seasoned fries, you can't go wrong with those. Then we're gonna hit up KFC for the coleslaw. And I guess I might as well get a mac and cheese. We're already stopping by, why not? Should I get some biscuits though? Mm, maybe a few. From Popeyes, you want some biscuits? Okay, I'll take some. One each or should I get two one. each? One? Mm, yeah, one. All right, so I'll get three biscuits. I'll get four biscuits, I'll get two for me. <laughs> what, no objections to my two biscuits? No, I'm just trying to keep this camera from like not shaking so much. It's like Sorry. an earthquake over here. Oh, they have ghost pepper wings. Yeah. Didn't I try those? Yeah, I tried those. Were they not they spicy? No, they were like the regular spicy. I don't know. Ooh, cheesecake? Oreo cheesecake. Remember they used to have, I used to love coming by to Popeye's for the Mardi Gras cheesecake. Mm. Ooh, I really love that cheesecake. I remember as a teenager driving up to, uh, the Popeye's was in Unendale. That's the one that I used to visit. That's the first Popeye's I've ever been to, actually. Was Core that one memory. in Unendale, New York. Hey, how are you? Uh, let me have uh, the, a large red beans and rice. Anything else? And uh, let me have, what is the order? Is, is six biscuits. All right, let me have a, the order of six biscuits. 
And what else am I getting? Oh, and a large fries. I'm telling you, those sides at Pollo Campero, I had it in El Salvador, I had it in New York, I had it in Miami. I didn't have it in Orlando, but that's three for three. I didn't like those sides at all. I don't like their, re their uh, beans and rice. Oh, you know what? They didn't ask me if we wanted tortillas or the dinner rolls. They have tortillas? Yeah, but we always get the dinner rolls. Mom, mom mm. prefers the dinner rolls. You know what I want? The Texas Roadhouse. Like the dinner oh, rolls. Oh, yeah, with the cinnamon butter. Those are so good. They are good. Really nice, fluffy, pillowy. Beautiful. Chewy, bready. Plushy. Plushy? Yeah. Plushy. Yeah, they are. They're not plushy. What are you They're talking plushy. about? Is that what I got? Biscuit, fries, and rice? Yeah, three things. The rice comes with beans, right? Mm, yeah, the red beans and rice. Oh, yeah, that's true. I don't yeah. think they just sell rice. Or maybe they do. Yeah, that's true. Can you pull up the side for um, we're going to wait for the fries. Over here? All right. All right. Thank no you. Problem. Thanks. All right, while we're waiting for the fries, let's cut to a commercial. Let's hear a few words from our sponsor. I just ordered a bunch of sushi. I asked them not to cut it, because that way I get my order much faster. Right? Good thing I have my Nakano knife, handcrafted in Seki, Japan, founded in 1918. This is the only knife you'll ever need. I got three sushi rolls, including two, which are tempura fried. And you're not ready for this. This is a hot Cheetos fried sushi burrito. With my Nakano knife, I can easily cut through three sushi rolls and one sushi burrito with ease. I feel like a master chef. For a limited time only, you can get $15 off your very own Nakano knife when you use code Hungry Polar Bear. What are you waiting for? All right, we got our fries. We didn't really have to wait that long. Fresh French fries. Let's head to KFC. They're gonna look at us. They're like Pollo Campero, Popeyes at KFC. <laughs> Dude, this is the perfect gourmet fast food meal. This it's is not gourmet. Really gourmet fast food. It is gourmet. It's like. I'm surprised how packed KFC is. Like right. compared to Popeyes, compared to Pollo Campero, which recently opened, it was kind of packed in there, but there was still seats. And they're serving up chicken pretty fast. So if you want to visit, you don't have to wait. I don't know about the flavor yet. So just wait till the end of the video. And let me tell you if it's good or not. If it's valid. Yerd. Hey, can I get a, <clears throat> sorry, a large mac and cheese and a large coleslaw? That's it. Oh, I think. All right, thank you. In, in and out. I hope I get my order quick. All right, thank you, sir. You have a good day. Or evening, I should say. Right, let's put this in the back right next to the Popeyes. <laughs> All right, let's head home and have a feast. Check it out. This is the full spread of everything we bought. Two boxes, 20 pieces of that Pollo Campero chicken. Super flavorful. Check it out. It looks pretty good, too. Wow, it's glistening. Look at that. It looks great. Up next, of course, from Popeyes. Let me open this up. The red beans and rice. Let me get a little fork to fluff this up. Let's take a look at those beans. There you go. A little bit. <laughs> what I like to do is mix all of this up so it's a true mixture of beans and rice. Let's see what we got over here. The fries. These seasoned Cajun fries are delicious. Nice and crispy, usually. Let's see how they are today. All right, up next, Pollo Campero. You cannot leave Pollo Campero without getting the yuca fries. These are perfectly done. They're crunchy and moist and almost like mashed on the inside. They're delicious. Since we were at KFC, we had to get the mac and cheese. It is better than the Popeye's mac and cheese, I have to say. And we got the coleslaw here. KFC, I love this coleslaw. One of my favorite coleslaws, actually. Better than most places I've ever had, surprisingly. And we have to get biscuits from Popeyes. Super buttery and flaky. It's usually dry in the middle, but what I really like is these uh, sort of crust all the way around. Super buttery and crunchy. And we got some Chipotle mayo. This is for dunking your yuca fries. You dunk them in that Chipotle mayo and it's delicious. All right, guys, this is the plate I served myself up. KFC coleslaw, Popeye's french fries, pollo campero yuca, Popeye's rice and beans, Popeye's biscuit, pollo campero chicken. Let's try everything out. Time to feast. All right, it took a while to get everything we wanted for dinner, but let's start with the red rice and beans. Mmm, <laughs> that's good. Had a little bit of smoky flavor. 
They're always pretty good. I think they put some kind of a sausage on there or something, possibly. It's good. Let me try the yuca. Let's dip it into this uh, sort of chipotle sauce they got going on here. Mmm. Delicious. Nice and smoky. Yuca's crunchy. Mushy in the middle. Mmm. Perfect. They really do them well. Let's stick with the fried foods. Popeye's french fries. Mmm. Wow. I forget how much I love Popeye's french fries. Nice, mushy in the middle. Crunchy on the outside. And they got tons of spices. Cajun seasoning goes crazy. It's really good. The biscuit now. This is what I was saying. The edges are the best part. The inside there, the middle, is usually pretty dry. Stick to the buttery edges. Crispy. Mmm. And buttery too. <laughs> I love that. All right, let's try the chicken. See if it's as good as what we had in Miami. Oh, man. Mmm. Wow. That's amazing. Mmm. Super flavorful. Their chicken has never been really like super crunchy, but it has good flavor. It's tender and it's juicy. I'll definitely get this again. It's pretty much like what we had in Miami, but nothing like what we had in New York. New York was, like I said, it was trash. This is actually pretty good. Good flavor. This part of the chicken wing is actually a bit crunchy and I love that. Maybe I need to get all chicken wings. <laughs> KFC coleslaw. Mm. It's just a good coleslaw. You'd be surprised how many restaurants mess it up. All right, so when we walked in there, they had like a little mural. I can't believe they've been open since 1971. They've been making this chicken for 50 years. That's crazy. Overall, chicken is great, has good flavor. I still feel like the one in Miami had a tad more flavor than this one, um, but it is juicy and this one is crunchy. It's not completely crunchy, but it has some crunchy bits, like on my chicken breast, you can see right here. The chicken breast, you can see right here. This part was super crunchy, super, super crunchy. I'm gonna give it a 7.8. I think the one in Miami was like an 8.5. It's still really good. I'll probably go back there. It's the only one in the area. And the only place that has this type of flavor, if you crave it, you can't get it anywhere else. I would really like to go back and try one of the chicken sandwiches. I'm curious to see how they taste and the chicken tenders. Maybe there's a difference. I don't know. Definitely the chicken sandwich. I don't know if they put any kind of, uh, you know, special sauce or anything like that. Maybe they put this one that they use for the yuca. I think that would taste actually pretty good with chicken. I should try it right now. Let me try this with some chicken. All right, let's dip it. I got a little piece of chicken here. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Kind of like a smoky, sweet chicken. Almost, I think maybe this is like, very similar to Chick-fil-A sauce, actually. Yeah, this is pretty good. I'm gonna have to go back for that chicken sandwich. I think I'm gonna love it. So I actually tried another piece because my wife was telling me, no, it's hitting just like Miami. And I had a chicken thigh, and this does taste like Miami. This is an 8.5. Check this out. Check this out. This one is super juicy and super flavorful. Definitely 8.5. This one's really good. That chicken breast, I don't know. It had like also, uh, I don't know if you saw it in, in, the, in the footage. It wasn't like fully breaded. There was like a piece missing. So maybe that's why I lost the seasoning there. I don't know. But... I blame it on that, it was just that chicken breast. This this one's amazing, wow. Maybe if you go get the dark meat. Mmm. Definitely stop by and try them out. 8.5 for Pollo Campero. And this whole full spread I got crazy feast. I'm giving it an 11 out of 10. Something you need to try. All right, so thanks for coming along with us. It was uh, quite the trip going down to Pollo Campero, Popeyes, KFC, back home, trying everything. I'm glad you came along. Don't forget to eat, drink, and be merry.